Well, here's the room. This is all stuff I'm taking. That's for my friend. The bed is stripped, laundry is on. And today is the first day of my recovery from this god awful summer. Um, I'm sure it wasn't all bad, but right now it's just like. So I don't know when I'll pick up the camera again. Today is currently Tuesday and I'm leaving and um, I have about 13, 12 days before I have to work at the theater besides a staff meeting, so yeah, we shall see. Well, hello and welcome back to my first full day out of work and at home and it's not great, my dudes, it's, it's, it's not great. So this is the current state of my room. I did get my computer set up though, which is nice. Um, <laughs> but it's just, it's all kind of a mess. There's a mess downstairs. I got my new agenda for next month and I mean, or some next year. It's 2024, I couldn't find an 18 months, but it's fine. Um, seems about right. Yep. The current plan and goal is to get my desk cleared off again so I can record my daily data -ish and kind of like slowly ease back in the world. I slept until like nine. I'm trying to be loud because I have so many fans going because it is quite warm in my room. It is 26 and I haven't even turned my computer on. Um, I slept till like nine and then I went back to sleep until I would say like 11.30ish, I would guess. And then um, I stayed in bed until about 12.30 and then I finally got up at eight and I have no idea what time it is, if we're being fully honest. Uh, but in good news, I'm pretty sure, it's 1.30 now, that's bright. I'm pretty sure I got everything set up properly on my computer, including the capture card, because this time when I unplugged, I didn't unplug all the cables from the switcher, I just left everything plugged in, so I think we're good. I got some exciting things in the mail. I also got some dumb things. Well, it's exciting. I got myself some new headphones, because remember, I, I think I said I ordered them because they're broken. I ordered the wired pair, not the wireless. Now wonder why it was $100 cheaper than the last time I bought some. In all fairness, the brain is not doing great. It hasn't been doing great for a while. So we'll chalk that one up to whoopsie doodle. And um, I'll just order myself a pair of Bluetooth eventually here. I might try to order them. I wonder if I can order them now and that they'll get here before I go away or if I need to order them down to the states or just wait I don't know nobody knows I need two hands to move this being my backpack but the plan today is daily dadish clean up my room find the floor kind of get everything sorted up here maybe edit some vlogs um, because I don't have any vlogs going up this week at this moment. And then, um, shower at some point because we kind of gross. With mental health struggles, my hygiene also struggles. Um, and then also with coming back to a place where there's a full-size shower, I was like, mm, I'm gonna just wait. But now it's kind of like, uh, gross. So, at some point today we definitely need to shower, but... Daily Dadish first, and then I don't know. Well, hello. It is day two, away from summer job. I am still very tired. I've been slowly getting things done. If you look, you can see part of my floor now, and my bed is a lot clearer. I have unpacked a tote and a cooler. My goal for today is to unpack another cooler. Um, I'm feeling a little, like, nauseous. Um, I have a headache. It's 29 degrees in my room. Did not miss this. I've been drinking water. Um, and I've been getting stuff done. So I've edited two, three vlogs total. One last night and then two today. I've recorded some more puns. I've done my daily dadish. I've recorded and edited a longer form content for my Keeper YouTube channel, which is something that I've been wanting to do. I'm feeling more like myself because I can just like sit here and get stuff done. Um, but also I'm like stressed about going back to streaming because I feel like I've been gone forever. Um, losing followers because I'm not streaming. Obviously losing subs because I'm not streaming. 
um, which is frustrating because I've been working so hard to build that. But you know, it's okay, we'll get through it. <sighs> I think my body still hurts, and not I think my body still hurts, my body does still hurt. Um, and I'm getting a little snacky, so I think I'm gonna try to edit the pun videos that I record it. Because I'm going away, I wanna get everything done before I go away. Um, so that, get them recorded, note they're recorded. My brain is still not great. Get them edited and uploaded and scheduled, and then that'll bring us through, I think it's like next weekend, the 10th, and then I have to still do like three weeks of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> at least I don't have to work until like the 10th so we can get stuff done but then I'm also like just stressed financially because obviously I left early so I lost out on an entire paycheck tips sucked this year so like really truly for the mental health toll that the summer took on me it was not financially worth it so that's fun it's all good anyways I'm just gonna try to keep working for a bit and I might lay down and maybe eat something like snack and maybe like put something on my TV I don't know but yeah this is day two I slept a lot again I ate a bit I don't know welcome back to day is it day three Wednesday Thursday Friday yeah day three of recovery the hair oof also it's over 30 degrees in my room I am literally dying that is something I also did not miss from being here, but I have been getting stuff done. So I just upload, I just scheduled shorts all the way through October on my YouTube. So that is amazing because that's an important thing to do. And I've also recorded and edited and then uploaded to my Google Drive all my pun TikToks for this month. I'm gonna need to do another week just so that I'm not stressed like I think I get back on the first of October and so I'd have to like record that night and then um sketch it's no it's no worth it so we'll do one more week at some point I can't do laundry because everybody in this complex appears to be doing laundry so I've tried twice over the over like an hour and a half period I've given up <laughs> we'll do that tomorrow I guess who does la it's Friday who does all their laundry on a Friday apparently everybody like there's laundry that people have pulled out of machines and like put on other machines and I'm just like not getting in this fight I'm not getting in this fight so anyways um I've been at my computer a lot I think I did just record like a 30 minute um video video yeah uh, a playthrough so yesterday I played a game called Un Peu Fragile uh, which was like I think it was like nine minutes of gameplay total is super cute I just played this game called Florence which was also super cute I'm like playing through like a lot of like I'm just trying to play through like my steam list um, I've got like a list here of like content plans so Florence and Umpa Fragile are on the list to do this month um, I don't know how much I can do before I have to go because like most of the other games well there's one it's called Ben but it's like an hour and a half so I could probably Florence was supposed to be like an hour and I think I finished in like 40 minutes so I could probably get through Venba but I don't even know when I'm gonna start posting these this long form content I just want to start making it and eventually I want to have enough so that like maybe days when I don't stream the longer form content goes up or for days that I'm supposed to stream that I don't stream I can direct people to that long form con content I haven't quite figured out what it is if I had all the time in the world I could just make so much obviously like the last couple things I've recorded have been short things but there's some games that are like five hours long so we're not gonna just post a five hour video so that'll like cut down to like half an hour to like 45 minutes probably different segments I don't know we will see we'll find like points that make sense to cut it I guess um, but yeah I think the the main things that I need to do in the next 10 days content wise probably edit some vlogs but um, I don't really know honestly if I have much to edit because we were struggling um, one more week of puns for TikTok 
and then we'll be good. And then the rest of my Twitch clips, like my markers and stuff, which were pretty much, we're, we're getting close. I worked a bit on it yesterday, so yeah. Anyways, right now I think sh I could edit that thing that I just did, but I think I might try to get out my 30.6 degree room for a bit and maybe do some organizing downstairs. I don't know if I can really do unpacking until I like can do laundry, but we'll see. Oh, but like for actual recovery, I don't think we're doing much. I didn't sleep in today. I only stayed in bed till like 10. I mean, I woke up naturally, but still I should have slept longer. My back hurts so from being in my bed for too long. My like, legs hurt because I have just been sitting in this chair. I need to like start going for walks or something, I guess. And um, what's the other thing? I don't know. I'm supposed to be resting, right? I don't know. I don't know how to rest. Also, I need to dye my hair soon because it's not pretty. I don't know. <sighs> I just, I feel like if, I, if I'm if i not doing things, I feel useless. Um, so that's a problem that I've always had and I know it. But yesterday I did watch a movie, uh, The Banker, which was really good. It was on Apple TV um, based on a true story. So that was fun. I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, we just need balance. And maybe this burnout is the perfect time to try to figure out that balance. <sighs> I don't know. I think we stream tonight too. Well, hello. Welcome to the continuation of this recovery vlog. I don't know what to call it. I, yesterday, so it's currently Sunday morning at like 2 a.m. Oh, it's like 2.40. <laughs> Oops. Um, yesterday being Saturday, things were going okay, and then I streamed, and then I kind of like was talking to, which was like hard, because like, I was looking at my numbers today, and before I went out for the summer, I was like averaging almost 40 people a stream, and yesterday I averaged 10, which I understand, one, it's the end of summer, I didn't announce, there wasn't a schedule of streaming and stuff, so like, you know, this is just a big drop. And then today I streamed again, it was 14, so it's going up. Um, but anyways, uh, and I haven't been playing Animal Crossing. <sighs> but after stream I hung out with um, Wesley, of course, and then one of the mods on my channel. And I was kind of like telling her what I went through this summer. And it was kind of post that that I realized it was rather, tra it, like, it was traumatic. Like, it truly was. Like, looking back with, like, some retrospective and being like, it wasn't okay to come home and, like, literally sob every single day. It wasn't okay to be so tired that I couldn't even function to, enough to feed myself. Like, this... It was not great. And, um, so as much as I've been trying to be like, oh, everything's fine, like, it's fine, we're just done packing. And, like, I did get some unpacking done today. Um, last night was really hard. I cried a bunch again talking about it I'm probably gonna cry again and then today was difficult too um, it's it's streaming is hard um, it's hard when you're in the best of moods it's extremely difficult when you are not in the best of moods and so you know it has been hard today was a hard day last night was a hard night and um, I was hoping that it would just get better fast and it's not <laughs> And um, it sucks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep now. I did, I did get some more unpacking done. I've unpacked almost all of my clothes. I still need to do about two loads of laundry, which I'm hoping to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm not gonna stream. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of stuff done. And it's so hard because like, and I, th I think I mentioned this in this vlog, like, if you are not, um, normally if you're burnt out, you should just not do anything. But I literally just came out from living away for like two and a half months and so I have to pick up those pieces and put them back into my regular life while well, also in like eight and a bit days I'm flying away for like three weeks basically I'm gonna be gone for and so it's just really hard there's just <sighs> there's just so much to do <laughs> and I like I already feel like I'm torn into two different lives. I have my life here, and then there's the life with Wesley and the littles and stuff that I'm missing out on most of the time, it feels like. So, 
yeah and then also I'm recovering from the depression and everything that has reared its ugly head after this summer so that's fun also if anyone's wondering I broke my ring well I dented it severely broke one of the prongs um, while I was in blind channel and so thankfully I've got I've got the backup which is super cute um, but that one's if I'm lucky, I can pick it up on Saturday. If I'm unlucky, it will be ready the day after I fly out. That's about right. Anyways, um, yeah. I guess I'm just still sad. <laughs> Which is like, ugh. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Um, but yeah, it's okay to be sad. It just sucks. But anyways, my hellfire of a room is full of hellfire, and uh, I'm going to try to sleep now. It didn't get below 30 degrees in my room last night. I'm hoping that maybe we can hit, like, 28. And um, I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. We'll start a new one as we continue this road to recovery, because um, I think it's going to be hard. I, I think it, it's... I am someone who thrives under routine, so obviously going away for, like, three weeks is not going to do great things for my, my mental health either. Um... Leslie and I have been talking about how it's important for me to continue to stream the same. I mean, that'll be good for routine, but, like, I feel bad because, like, one, I don't know if I can because with his work and with the littles and stuff, like, it might not be feasible to stream on my normal days. So, I don't know. Anyways, we'll figure that out, but, yeah. I like routine. I thrive with routine and knowing what's going to happen and consistency and uh, nothing is that. But anyways subscribe continue along this adventure with me I don't know this next <sighs> I just really feel like the next six months to a year is just gonna be a lot truly <laughs> I'm recovering from this hell summer I will be going through a visa pro well I mean we we're going through the visa process continuing through that gonna be moving to a different country gonna be getting married and that should be exciting stuff but like with everything right now it just feels really overwhelming <laughs> okay I'm gonna go now I will uh, see you in the next one I'm gonna go cry a bit probably as if I'm not already. Okay, bye!